With an estimated 20,000 people killed and over 2 million displaced, the Boko Haram insurgency has also left behind a plethora of governance challenges combined with destruction of available infrastructure. This gathering of representatives of the GIZ meeting with the top echelon of the Ministry of Information and Strategy as well as media executives is to present its support program and to interact on the outlined strategies. Declaring the meeting open, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Information and Strategy, Adam Umusa Kalamu, maintains that all hands must be on deck to ensure the set-out objectives are actualized. Maybe by the time we leave this, we have this interaction and leave this place, we will be more informed of the activities of this EU and the so I urge uh, everybody here to listen and watch and comprehend what the group are going to show us. Leader of the GIZ delegation, Emmanuel Bola, says the community development plan seeks to engage local governments affected by insurgency in the state with words identifying priority projects needing attention. We cannot work in all the uh, wards and even in local governments. Rather, what we will do is to stimulate the people towards coming together and developing the plans themselves. That in itself will begin to ensure <coughs> sustainability even when the project is finished. Macy Nwosu is a governance advisor with the GIZ. She explains that they require adequate cooperation in disseminating information to the populace on the programs, adding that they will visit some of the affected local governments to ascertain their needs. The here is to try to bring back the states to make an attempt. It's not possible for us to solve all the problems and issues of the states. We just want to do our own contribution. What we can do in the state to try to address the issues that have, are, that have arisen because of the um, the insurgency. Several local governments of the state are expected to benefit from the program. Aminu Jaldegrum Pao, to